check one, two, check one, two. Next thing we're going to do is check out the desktop, or I should say the iPad app. Um, it looks very similar to the, the iPhone app. app. And here um, I use a square canvas typically. Um, I'm going to show you a few things right away. It's a bigger working area. You have a you can see your color palette wheel at the bottom stays open. You have a few more tools and they can stay open. So this middle button here takes you to your gallery. Your gallery is where you're going to view all of your work. So it's probably going to ask me to save it. I'm going to save the painting. And I'm going to show you how to set up a new file here. So hit the plus sign. Again, here's my gallery. Um, create new painting. You definitely can work in, you can work in larger sizes here. Um, I like 4K or square large is nice. Um, actually I want 4K. 4K landscape is 4,000 pixels wide by about 2,300 high. I just always max it out 4,000 each direction. The, the app will let you know if you've gone too large. You can't do, for example, 8,000. It's going to limit me to 4,000. Um, I like limited paper texture, although you can go with a heavier texture if you want. So fine paper. I go with a white background, white paper. And you can always hit this record script file and it will save a um, a script that records your painting and that can be opened up on the desktop version of the app but I don't think you can do it on iPad. I'm going to just give this a name here. I'm just going to call it square 4k abstract done. Alright, so the first thing I'm going to do is set up a few layers here. Same as the iPhone. I'm going to show you a little trick where I'm going to add a background layer, or I should say load a tracing image. Doesn't really matter. We will just go with... there. So that's a tracing image, and it's not in any layers. What I can do though, I can adjust the opacity of the tracing layer. Say I really like this chair, I can trace it, you know. Um, probably want to use a little darker color, but anyway, you can use a reference image in that sense and then you can just turn off your tracing layer like that. Now the other thing you can do I'm undoing everything real quick you can take your tracing image and convert it to paint and it's going to convert it to paint in the layer that you're currently working in. And At that point you can just delete the tracing image because it's now in a layer there it is. What I can do now, the thing I like about this is I can take my eraser, and you can see here I have a few more tools, a lot more tools here. Anyway, I can just erase now. I can really modify that image directly. Um, start to isolate it a little bit. I'm working just really fast, just for kicks here. I mean, the only disadvantage I see to this iPad Pro app is you can't take your tool size larger than 100%. So what you see here, this is the largest pixel dimensions I can get from my eraser. I'm maxed out. On the desktop version you could make a 500% you know, uh, tool size. And when you're working in 4K the resolution is so high, as you can see here, that you know, those larger brush, brush sizes probably would drag the machine down. Um, 
Okay. Go back to my layers. Another technique here. Paint underneath. Kind of fun. Paint underneath. And then modifying in layers. I'm going to come on top. It's all very basic stuff. So now I'm on top. All right. I don't like any of this. I'm going to. The iPad app asks you to save quite a bit, which is nice. So we're saving. And we're going to delete layer there. I'm going to clear layer here. And we'll stick with that. I'll show you a little bit with the brushes, the oil brush. And here's your settings for your brush. I'm going to use. Hmm. Let me look at my look at my presets. I don't want watercolor first of all. I want this one. I want to. There we go. Actually, I want a thick gloss. Here's what's nice with the program. It's almost like you can move the paint around. So push it in. And uh, you're going to get really high resolution results this way. A lot of different tools. There's the crayon. Get nice effect with that. And everybody here knows about the airbrush. So you can see how it tapers out on me. I can adjust that to have um, auto flow. And you just keep going and going and going. Some of these I haven't played with as much. But again, this is my first recording on the... Ooh, let's see if I can change this. 400. Oh, you're kidding me. No, see, it won't let me. 150. Yeah, it limits you to 100% brush size. Um, when I do get around to the desktop demo of this ArtRage software, I'll show you how you can use super big brushes and cover like massive areas um, of the canvas all at once. In the meantime, I'm going to post this up and get things cracking. Again, it's Andy, and if you're watching this, you are one of the pioneers of this channel. See you around.